guys, this is Chris with EVO Miami. I have here the lineup of Waydo EVO wings. To start with, we have three different wings, both coming in either a fiberglass or a carbon fiber version. So they'll be the same wing in different materials. All right, so I'm gonna start with our bread and butter wing. That'll be the Waydo EVO 1500 Voyager Carbon. So obviously it comes in both carbon and fiberglass. I'll just start by saying I like the carbon just because I've always ridden carbon, most of the reason. I don't feel that much of a difference with the fiberglass, but in a bigger wing, especially as a bigger rider, you're gonna actually be flexing it more. With the smaller wings, you don't have to flex it so much, so I don't think it's as important to have carbon with the big with the smaller ones, with the bigger ones, I just I like to choose carbon because you're gonna be putting more pressure on the bigger surface of the wing. This is the bread and butter wing because it creates tons of lift and it's going to be very easy to ride, very cruisy. You can ride at slow speeds and just cruise around. So if you're not quite sure if you want to progress and ride really fast, or most people like to just give it to their grandchildren, friends, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is. And, uh, and yeah, this is the wing that's going to do it all. So this is the one that most people are getting, the Waydo Evo Voyager 1500, either in fiberglass or carbon fiber, but, but mostly carbon fiber. So, two options there. Moving on. The Waydo Evo 1100 Voyager. So, similar shape to the, to the 1500, a little different. Um, but this one is gonna be really, it's gonna be a lot faster riding and a lot faster turning as well. The feedback that I've gotten from this, from most riders that are pretty average uh, weight, around 100, you know, from 140 to 180 pounds, especially with the 6,000 watt motor, it kind of seems like what it's meant to be for. What I see with the 1500, the new 6,000 watt motor has so much torque, it, as soon as you press the trigger, it wants to lift you up. So with this being a smaller wing, it doesn't have quite as much lift, and it's a little bit smoother transition on the power. So. With the 1500, I gotta like slowly bring the power in to avoid just lifting straight into the air. With the 1100, you can be a little more aggressive with the trigger and obviously just ride more aggressively. And it's not too tippy and you don't have to ride at too fast at speeds. So the 1100 actually works a lot better than I thought it would, especially considering how much power the 6,000 watt motor has. So I've been really happy with the 1100 and uh, I've been suggesting them a lot more than I thought I would in the past. As you can see right here, this is actually the fiberglass version. Miami, man. So it's going to be obviously coming in carbon or fiberglass. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, with the 1100, as I was mentioning earlier, I haven't been able to really tell the difference between carbon and, and the fiberglass. However, um, a lot of times I do just like choosing the carbon. You're paying a little bit more money, but you know, you're getting carbon. And in every other situation, where it's not an e-foil on a really light uh, setup with a, whether I'm winging or kiting. Um, I'm gonna all, pretty much always choose carbon. With the e-foil, since you're already choosing a you know, really heavy board with a battery, um, you can get away with fiberglass as they're not as performance-based. Um, so either one works really well with the, with the 1100. Moving on to the Glidewing. This has been so nice. Uh, especially for longer rides. Um, if you want to get the most ride time, more, uh, more accurately, the longest ride, so the most distance, so if you want to do a crossing somewhere, go from A to B and have the most battery power, that'll be the Glidewing. And on top of that, you'll be riding a lot faster than you would be riding on the, on the Voyager 1500 with the higher aspect wing. So you'll be using the same amount of power at a higher speed than the, than the, than the uh, Voyager wing. So like I was saying, if you want to use le less power and go farther distances, this is your guy here. Um, and you can actually turn sharper at higher speeds compared to the Voyager. Um, the only reason why I would say the Voyager is better at certain things, uh, it's going to be a little bit easier for brand new beginner riders where this one doesn't quite turn the same um, the, the ease of use isn't quite as much as easy as, as Voyager, but it's pretty close. So I've been really, really, really happy with the, uh, 
1500, the 1500 uh, glide. I do use it in the carbon as well, just because I think, in my opinion, a really big wing like this is gonna have a lot of force on it. So the carbon is gonna be super stiff compared to the fiberglass. But uh, that being said, I haven't heard any complaints about that on the other end anyways. Um, again, I'm just so used to using carbon that I just use carbon. <laughs> but yeah, it comes in both carbon and fiberglass. Lastly, I'd like to talk about if you're gonna, if you're looking at getting a couple different wings, what's the best configuration? I would say if you wanna get something to either go really long distances and then have something that's gonna turn sharp and just stay close and just play around, I would go with the 1100 and then the 1500 glide. This way you can ride your 1100 when you're just riding close to shore, you just wanna get a quick ride and then buzz around and do quick turns and go fast. And then the other times when you wanna just go long distances, you know, ride A to B, um, do the glide. So if you're gonna do a combo, this is my favorite combo right here. Thanks for tuning in guys. This is the lineup for the Waydo Evo wings. Um, obviously there's six of them total. I just grabbed the ones I had in at hand to show you, but as you know, the 1100, the 1500 Voyager and the 1500 Glide, they'll be coming in both carbon and fiberglass, so six total. Um, yeah, let us know if you have any questions, you wanna see other, any, video, any other videos, let us know. Um, give us a call and we'd love to get you guys on some Waydo's. Come do a demo, test them out, do some lessons with us, and we'd love to see you in the water. Have a great day, guys. Cheers.